Hi there, I'm Dr. Brenda Wade, your good love doctor, and this is part two of our Outrageous Abundance series. We've got two more parts after this one. Now, what do I mean when I say outrageous abundance? We talked about that in part one. It means feeling full. Abundance means just feeling filled up. And what are the things that fill us up? In part one, we talked about the importance of being of service and being a contributor to life. Most of us think of getting, 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 I, me, mine, I want more, 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 because we actually believe if we have more, that will fill us up. Not true. It is giving more that fills us up. So that was part one, and I gave you a homework assignment. How many of you spent the last week waking up going, yes, to life? That was your assignment. Now, I want you to keep that up because we're going to build on one more exercise in part two. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, part two is about following the natural world. This is the most abundant time of the year. We have the most light. The earth is in balance, equal parts day, equal parts night. And we want to bring our lives into balance at this midpoint of the year. So to do that, I want you to look at your life and ask yourself, where am I out of balance? Where am I spending maybe too much of my time outside myself without spending any time on the inside? That means some process of prayer, meditation, reading, reflection, even just time for daydreaming or doing something creative, something that brings you back to yourself so there's balance. We live in a culture, we all know this, that's all about doing, 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 being, being, being. So we wanna make sure that we spend that time that nurtures us on the inside. That creates balance. And we hear the sirens in the background, so I'm gonna send a little blessing to whatever's going on there, to the first responders. So I want you to remember that the greatest blessing for you is one you give yourself the blessing of balance. Now that means time inside as well as out and very key, remember we live physical, emotional, mental and spiritual. Take a look, where am I in balance in all four quadrants? Spend a little time each day. Now that's your homework assignment. I want you to assess where am I in balance? And if you want to get more information and more training in how to create outrageous abundance in your life, join me right here in our Good Love Academy. July 19th and 20th will be live and we have a very special guest who will be live with us, Bruce Cryer, who's one of the founders of the Heart Math Institute. And he's going to talk about how to create abundance in every area, inner and outer. And we have Phyllis Newhouse, who's going to join us. Now, she's been in Forbes magazine a couple times this year already because she built her business into the millions upon millions of dollars in the so-called down economy. What she has to say about how she did that is going to blow you away in a really good, abundant way. So now here's the homework again. Look at those four quadrants. Be honest with yourself. Am I in balance physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually? We want to spend time in each area every day. Move more to the inner, less to the outer. All right, everyone. That's your outrageous abundance part two secret for today. Blessings. I'm Dr. Brenda Wade. And to register, go to love at docwade.com for that two-day intensive. And it's complimentary.